Now I better give some thought to this problem. You can see this wall has got a lovely radius curve on it and the dado rail just will not bend that tight. The rail I'm using is made out of MDF, medium density fiber, uh, which frankly is a, an awful material to use. Whoever invented it wants taking out and shooting, along with some politicians, estate agents, lawyers. Oh dear, have I just incited a crime? Uh, ignore that. Don't, don't shoot anybody, especially not lawyers. Um, now I was thinking I might carve a piece out of the solid and I thought well have I got a piece of material that I could do that with and yeah I have I've got a big piece of it's actually a piece of beech beech wood but the grain uh, you'd end up with some very very short grain if you carve it out of the solid so what I'm going to do and this is going to take some time is I'm going to make a female mould of that shape of the corner then I'm going to laminate up some old mahogany that I've got uh, it will be cut into strips and make a, a laminated piece to go around that corner uh, be a long process slow process, boring process, mainly watching glue dry but as, as I get on with it I will make some short uh, film of how I do it and hopefully what a wonderful result I'm going to get I, I do say hopefully anyway enough of that it's sunny in the garden perhaps I'll go and water the leeks or something well this is how we're going to make a very tight curve in a dado rail. I'm starting with a big block of beech that I'm going to make a former out of. I've marked it to the curve that I want on the outside radius and the inside radius. Now the little difficulty I now have is how do you cut a piece out like that without a bandsaw? Well with patience and persistence as they say you can do anything. So a bit at a time I'm going to cut out the outside radius and then the inside radius and then I shall laminate up some mahogany to make that dado rail. Right well that's that part of the job done. Well I've got that job set up in the vise and uh, I was thinking how how would my dad knock that out quickly? I thought he'd have used a half round surform tool and a round surform tool and I thought I haven't had a surform tool for 30 years so I'm going to go down to our local tool shop and buy myself one it'll make this job so much easier uh, yeah, I might even take you with me. <laughs> 